What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look, I'm on my way to the gym. Happy Friday, my people. Um, and I did, I received a few comments uh, in regards to my boxing career, and that's what you guys uh, definitely want to know about. So we can, we, we can cover that a little bit, talk about my boxing uh, career and why I know so much about boxing and stuff like that. All right, so um, first we have to start with uh, the beginning um, my, my brothers, how about this? My father, he passed away before I was born. Okay. And my father was a physically superior, hard nosed, gritty, um, combative, uh, uh, mentally strong individual. Okay. He was hard. All right. Now he raised two boys, my two older brothers, and uh, iron sharpens iron, and he made them a reflection of himself, okay? So he passed away before I was born, all right? Now, when I was born, my brothers carried on the tradition. So they raised me to be physically hard, uh, uh, mentally strong, um, someone who doesn't shy away from combat, Shy, shy away from challenges. They really taught me how to throw punches correctly. Everything, okay? Push-ups on my knuckles on the floor, um, punching each other. I mean, we just baptized in combat. So when it came to combat, I excelled, okay? Fast forward to college. Um, I decided to take a boxing class, okay? And I was doing well. Naturally, of course, I was doing well. But at the same time, I was presented with a Taekwondo course, all right? And I chose Taekwondo, even though I was doing well in boxing. Why? Because my father, he, um, before he passed, he achieved one belt away from black belt, okay? So, um, me just being kind of haunted by the fact that I never knew my father, I was trying to accomplish everything he didn't get a chance to, okay? So I said, Taekwondo, he never had a chance to accomplish belt, black belt. I'm going to do it. So I joined, I joined Taekwondo, and I excelled. I was doing good, okay? Uh, so much so that my sensei, and if I ever see you, my sen if I see you on the streets, anywho, my sensei, he had a friend who was a blue belt, okay? So because I was beating everybody in the sparring in Taekwondo, he put his boy up against me, a blue belt, and I beat him, okay? And because of that, he entered me into a state competition and I brought home the gold, okay? Um, but so I did well, and then I graduated college. So I left the Taekwondo class over there. And, you know, I came home and, you know, looking for a Taekwondo um, uh you know, class at the crib, you know, it was kind of hard to do. Plus life was happening and I was trying to get my career started. All right. So fast forward a couple years, I bumped into uh, my woman now. Okay. And like you guys know, my show business partners, uh, day ones, they know that she, uh, she's Mexican. Um, she is, uh, she was a boxer. So at the time she was boxing. Okay. And I was very into that. And, um, so while she was boxing and we were getting to know each other, I was at a gym and I bumped into a guy who wanted to spar me at a gym. Uh, big Mexican guy. He weighed a couple, like maybe 20 pounds heavier than me. Strong dude. We boxed and I don't shy away from any challenge. We boxed. He was getting the best of me, but I ended up beating him. He quit. OK, because of that, I said, well, let me get back into boxing. What am I doing? But at the same time, I entered my MBA program. So I went to uh, my woman's gym. Um, I joined her gym, and that gym was gritty, okay? That was a gritty sweat box, all right? They were in there getting it in. And that was some of the hardest training I've ever done in my life, all right? So I was getting my endurance back up and stuff like that. And the actual boxing coach that leads that gym, he took a liking to me, and he said, hey, man, come on into the ring, all right? So I sparred him. He was like um, 60 years old, but he was 60 years old in Floyd Mayweather senior way. OK, needless to say, 
he put the beat down. I couldn't hit him with anything. I couldn't hit him with Jack. That guy was slick, accurate, and he was just giving me a beat. And with every punch he hit me with, uh, every star I saw, I thought about my NBA. <laughs> So he liked me. Uh, he said that he wanted me to dedicate myself to the sport and I could not lie to him. I was going to dedicate myself to the NBA program. Uh, I felt that that was going to be more financially beneficial for me. All right. So I quit boxing. I quit boxing. And, and a lot of that um, uh, I regret uh, because I just have that burning in my pit to punch, get hit, get slammed, slam somebody like I just. It's always there. And, you know, a lot of you guys know that. If you're a fighter, you always be a fighter. It's just there. You know what I'm saying? So um, I joined the M my NBA program, did well, got my career going, stuff like that. And then guess what I did? Um, I joined Jiu-Jitsu because, like I said, that fire, it just burns. All right. So I'm in Jiu-Jitsu and I'm doing my thing there. Um, but boxing is what I love. It is what I love. I love the sport, uh, which is why I talk about it so much in this channel. Um, it is my first love. OK, um, so and, and a lot of and, and, and really, I want to say this. If you love boxing, you don't have to have uh, competed in boxing to know what you're talking about. There's a lot of NFL coaches out there who never took a snap. OK, so if you know it, you know it. Don't let anyone challenge you. Hey, man, have you ever been in a ring? Don't don't fall victim to that kind of bullying. If you know boxing, you know boxing. And, and, and at least here on this channel or at least with me, I'm going to respect what you're talking about. If it sounds right. OK, so, um, yeah, man, uh, that, that's what happened with my boxing career. I think you guys deserve to know that about showbiz, the adult who you're listening to um, and, and why I know so much about boxing. But I'm about to hit the gym right now, so show biz the dope. I hope you appreciate the story, and thank you guys for asking. I'm out. Huh.